What's up? So, here's the uh, fun bit of news. So, for those of you guys who didn't know, somebody went after my monetization. They said I was hurting myself and there was violence in my YouTube videos and all this craziness, and none of it was true, accurate representation of my channel in the slightest. So there was an investigation done. They withheld all my monetization for a period of time for like two months while I went through this investigation process with them. I've been a YouTube partner for like six years. I've been making money on YouTube for at least six years. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, you can't make much money on YouTube. Today I'm going to put that to rest. We're going to talk about a few things and I'm going to explain to you why that's bullshit and that way of thinking isn't going to get you anywhere. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. All right. Granted, the drone community really doesn't like me. I don't give a shit. I could really care less. I'm opinionated. I say my opinion. I really don't care if people like it or they don't. I'm a very honest dude and I just lay it all on the table. I've had problems with people in the past that have made things personal with me. That's their problem that they made it personal. I warned them numerous times stay away from me. Some of them chose not to. They thought it was a funny thing to keep going. And then when I gave them hell, uh, they were like, oh my God, what is going on? And, well, you signed yourself up for it. That's your problem, right? I gave you multiple outs. You didn't take them. Regardless of the fact, most of the drone community doesn't like me. I really don't give a shit, right? Because I post all sorts of different content. So even if the drone people aren't watching, there's plenty of other people watching my other content. To give you an idea of how that's accurate, if you look at any of my drone content, most of it's got like 170 views, 190 views, maybe 300 views if I'm lucky, but all my other content gets ridiculous amounts of views. So I have over 2,000 videos posted, okay? I have over 2,000 videos posted. So when people say you really can't make much money on YouTube unless people are giving you money and they're donating to your channel, you're full of shit. You have no idea what you're talking about. I don't even understand what the word chump change means. People are like, oh, you only make a couple cents on your videos. That is accurate. That is accurate. But it's all based on CPM, clicks per million. So my average month for me is around 57 to 60,000 views on my channel, right? That's not low by any means. It's actually really good for a smaller channel like me that's only coming up on like 14,000 subs, which is why I have like 5 million views on my channel because I put out so much different content. I'm not constricting myself to one side of, of things and just reaching out to an elite you know, group of people based in one little thing. I like to open it up to everything. I like to cater to the entire world as opposed to just a minimal little part of the community. So yes, you would be accurate. If you're only posting your every once in a while video and you're like, well, it's not going viral. It doesn't need to go viral to make money. It just needs to be a video that is repeatedly watched over a period of time that makes constant income every month. So with 2000 videos posted, do the math yourself, man. If people are watching that and I'm getting 60,000 views a month, my average pay from YouTube without any help, without any of you donating anything to me, without any of you sending super chats, anything, I'm still making almost $300 a month. And if I were to estimate all that out by the end of the year, so like let's say $270 times 12, that's $3,230 every year from YouTube. That's not chump change, man. That's enough to buy a decent used vehicle at the end of the year. So for those of you guys that just don't get it, and I've drilled this into your head numerous times, post lots of content. I don't care what other people tell you. I don't care, okay? I don't care what other people tell you, all right? If you're posting lots of content, you're posting stuff that people will watch over a duration of time, tutorial videos, fix-it videos, things like that. Drone content dies. Every two years, it just dies. It just dies because there's no interest in that product anymore. It phases out. Nobody cares anymore. But if you're making videos that help people constantly over years and years and years, that video is not going to go away. It's just going to continue growing. And as it grows, the CPM, the clicks per million goes up and you get paid more and more and more for that video. So it goes from chump change, making a couple cents per video to making like dollars every month for you, right? So some videos make like $15 a month for me. Just one video makes 15 bucks a month for me. That's a lot. Now add in the fact that I put out over 2,000 videos. It's not chump change. You have to think in broader numbers, you guys. All right, so I just wanted to throw that out there for you. So you guys had a good understanding that YouTube can pay you well if you're producing lots of content that's going to be watched. Tutorial videos, fix-its, help videos, whatever. 
If you're making those videos, they're going to get views and they're constantly going to be watched for years and years to come. It's not a video. Drone content is for an elite group of people and it's just going to fall off. You can't be mad that that's what happens because that's a fact of life. Okay, so if you're chasing fame based on drones, you better be one hell of a good pilot or you're just constantly wanting to edit all the time. Big, dumb videos that take hours and hours and hours to edit. That just And you get such a little minimal payback on those videos. I'm just being a realist, man. I'm being real with you. I'm not taking that kind of time and energy to do that. I edit all of my videos on my cell phone. I post them and they go viral. They go, and some of them, some of my videos have gone viral. Most of mine don't go viral, but they do get lots and lots of views over a period of time. And that's what I'm aiming for. I'm not even aiming for a following of people. I don't care if I'm followed by a bunch of people because I know how to get views. It's not about the followers to me. It's about knowing how to get views, right? Without using clickbait, without bullshitting people, without doing all that, putting out good content that people can learn from and grow with because of the content you're putting out. Even if they don't subscribe and they don't come back, they still watch one of your videos for a long duration of time because it was informational, they got the information they need and they moved on. And if you're lucky, they subscribe. I'm not worried about all that though. You see what I'm saying? My job is to make helpful videos that grow. And those those videos that I put out and produce, they grow, right? It doesn't have to be viral content to pay you well. So think about it. Yeah, you're like, oh, well, you know, what do you make, like 10 or $15 a month? No, dude, I make like almost $300 a month just on YouTube revenue alone. Nothing else. Nothing else. That's that's like two house bills for me. That's, that's you know, that's my car insurance, my cell phone. That's part of my health, you know, insurance. That's, dude, that's money. That's not a joke anymore. It pays bills. So, yeah, no, I don't do it for a job. But don't sit here and tell me that it's chump change because it's not. You're just not utilizing the platform correctly. And I'm here to tell you, doing it correctly, right? It doesn't matter if you're only making a couple cents on a video. As long as it's a helpful video, it will continue to grow over years and years to come. You will get paid for that video. In the long run, that video will pay you back exponentially. So I just want to throw that out there. But for the person that decided to have an attack on my monetization after six years of being a YouTube partner. You failed, it was a great valid attempt. I give you some validation on that, but it went nowhere. They finished their investigation, Google got back to me and was like, look, we don't have a problem with your content, we're releasing all this, you're good to go. So just wanna throw that out there and explain to you that you can make decent money on YouTube doing it correctly. Doing it correctly. Conduct yourself accordingly and you will make money. Okay, I promise you, you will. It's not because I'm a big channel, because I'm not. I only have like just under 14, like what? I'm almost at 14,000 subs, but 5 million views on this platform, guys. I'm not making creative content songs. I'm not making viral videos. I've only made a couple in my lifetime, but that's not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for videos that will pay me for years to come. Even if I decide to stop doing YouTube, like, oh, I'm done doing YouTube, doesn't matter. Those videos will not stop growing as long as that fix is still relevant to something somebody is doing or those tutorial videos fix it videos they last forever forever people are always constantly needing to fix something and if you do a video on something that is old and you fix it and you show people to fix it what do you think is going to happen a lot of people own that old product they just want to fix it when it fails they don't want to take it to a shop or they can't afford it or there is no shop that'll work on it anymore that's why i make those videos because they grow exponentially over a period of time and you get paid a lot for those videos Use your brain, man. All right, guys. Drum worship. I'm out. Toodles. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now, she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right.